Hello everyone. Now I'm starting a lesson 2.5 from Cambridge Prime Science Learner Book Unit 2, Lesson 2.5 Separating Material from Rocks. We are going to learn and find out where materials come from, ask a scientific question and work out which type of scientific uh, inquiry can be used to find the answers. So let's start. Where do materials come from? This flowchart show where papers come from. Paper, wood, tree found in the ground. Draw some flowchart like this to show where other materials come from. Okay, so paper starting from where? It's coming from where? Wood. What we are taking from where? From tree. And trees coming from where? From the ground, putting seeds. Uh, the seeds grow up change into a tree and then tree if we cut down we take the wood and then we make the paper same like this pencil pencil wood tree and found on the ground so same like this you can put the pencil here because you are making the pencil from wood okay uh, have a look at flowchart draw drawn by other learners in your class Skip it. Aluminium, the vocabulary word. Carbon, diesel, flowchart, fuels, global warming, iron, natural gas, oil, or petrol, and smelting. Materials from the earth. We took a lot of material from the earth. Plan, planet earth. Planet earth is the source of all the materials that we use. These are called natural materials which we are taking from the earth. All materials that have to be made like plastic, metal are made from materials that are natural. We are taking from the ground, from the earth. So most, most plastic is made from oil which is found in the ground. So oil we took from where? from the ground metals are made from rocks in the ground called earths so so metals and earths this is an ore called oxide this is oxide and this is called an ore also this Hematite, hematite, and it is used to make a metal called aluminium. You know the can. We are drinking different uh, fizzy drink like Seven, Pepsi, and the can, Red Bull, Gold Red. Different. We are drinking. These are all aluminium. So it is used to make a metal called aluminium from bauxite. It is used to make a metal. Uh, called iron you can see a zip so this one from hematite so this metal has to be separated from other materials obviously it's same not like this you can see the shape no exactly it's there are a lot of material inside so separating them so the metal has to be separated from other material in the ore to make pure metal so this metal ore is heated and melt it to separate the metal. This is called smelting. So you, this is uh, you can see a big horn. We are we are putting these different uh, kinds of uh, this ore. So after this, we are heat up a lot of temperature putting. So it's heat up and melt. So this melting, and uh, it's called heating and then melting to separate the metal. It's called smelting. So you will need, there is an activity, uh, access on the internet, find about uh, this word, book and videos about metal. There are many different metals. How many of these have you uh, heard about? Steel, steel bar, you can see different silver, silver jug in your home, zinc, gold, lead and chrome and copper. So mostly we are using copper, gold, and silver, steel also, and lead also a little bit, you know about it. There are many questions you can 
you could ask about metal what are the zinc made from where is the gold found what is copper used for so choose one metal and write question about it use a book or video or internet to find out about the answer so i'm explaining these three so the first question zinc uh, made from zinc uh, actually it's uh, it's the same like you can say a rock so zinc is primarily extracted from or containing zinc sulfide this extracted from or containing zinc sulfide and what about the next question uh, where is gold found So the gold is found in ore in rock form. It's also and the crystal you can say their structure, but also it's taken from the ores. And what about the copper? What is the copper used for? We are using a, a copper material like uh, equipment such as wiring, uh, motors. Why? Because it conducts both heat and electricity very well. That's what we are using in wiring and motors. Okay, oil and natural gases. Natural gas is a gas uh, found underground. We burn it to cook, heat our homes and to make electricity. We are using natural gas. Oil is a liquid found underground. The oil is heated to make useful liquid and gases. The petrol and diesel we burn for uh, and we burn in cars and lorries are made from oil this is all we are we are putting the petrol in our car so it uh, we can move from one place to another place and in big cars and lorries small cars different and also diesel we are using for transportation so this is all coming from natural resources materials that we burn are called fuels fuels like natural gas crude oil, petrol and diesels all contain a material called carbon. When we burn these materials, carbon dioxide gas is made. So too much carbon dioxide is in the air, make the earth get warmer because of carbon dioxide, our uh, our air, it's not clean, it's get our warmer, our, uh, sorry, our air to be warmer. So this is called global warming. Which is harmful for us also. This oil rig has drilled a hole into the rocks under the sea and is pumping out oil. You can see here, it's taking out oil. This plant we can see in different Gulf countries. So you can see they are putting in, uh, in the in the ocean. They are putting the pipe like this pipe, uh, oil rig. So it's a, a hole <clears throat> into the rock under the sea. So for taking water, taking the oil, pumping out the oil. So this is not normal method. After this, uh, there is uh, there are different plants for filtering. So making oil for, usable for cars. So after this, we have uh, a question about this topic. Most plastic is strong and flexible. This means that plastic can last a very long time. Most plastic, most uh, type of plastic are made. This is a researching topic, uh, researching about plastic. You can find more data on the internet if you write uh, in uh, the Google uh, search bar. Just write plastic. So you can find a lot of information about it. So most type of plastic are made from oil, but plastic can be made from any material that contains a lot of carbon. Many materials that come from plant and animals can be used to make a type of plastic called bioplast there are some question what is an or let's write the dog It 
is a rock that containing name three materials that are made from oil very easy made from oil number one plastic more simple and uh, petrol diesel it's not why can burning fuel cause a problem actually because it's make carbon dioxide and it's uh, harmful for our environment so burning fuel can Is, uh, which you can say harmful for our okay, which cause global warming. <clears throat> so these are the answer for these three questions. So what you learn in this lesson I can I can name the sources of all the material we use I can say where oil natural gas metal and some other materials come from so these are mostly coming from the natural resources from the ground from the earth let's move to the next page page number 60 Designing a reusable object so you can make uh, any kind of thing which we can use it again Like plastic bottle we can use it again. So we make many things from plastic that we only use once most plastic Plasting are lost a really long time all these plastic objects ended up as a rubber yeah, rubbish on a beach obviously we call things we only use once disposable we should make disposable object from materials that do not last a long time things we use many times are called reusable Reuse reusable we can use it again again we should use reusable object instead of disposable object whenever we can like different can for plastic we can use it again and again these disposable objects are made from wood or paper. You can see here. The blue bags are made from plastic. This one, shopping bag. So this reusable shopping bag is made from natural fabric. Look at the picture of plastic objects on the beach. Are they any dis are there any disposable things that could be made of a better material? Could a reusable object be used instead? Design a reusable object of a disposable object made of a better material. Mostly we are using a bottle of water more than once. And this one, it's plastic. It's reusable. Can reusable. So what about plastic? Plastic, it's when a garbage collector collected and then at the end separate the plastic and another can another uh, garbage box and can in another gar garbage box like this uh, uh, this bottles uh, for glass another because this uh, it's when they are putting in the in the oven big oven where they heat these materials so it's changing into liquid and make another new shape of 
plastic uh, this uh, plastic bags and different plastic containers and same like this and the metal bag metal containers after uh, heat up okay let's start check your progress uh, talk about the answer to these questions which of these material are solid which are liquid and which are gases let's start so water cooking oil sugar carbon dioxide natural petrol sand aluminium and plastic so i'm just writing one more word easy for you so water is a liquid right right l capital cooking oil liquid to this uh, petrol it's liquid what about sugar sugar is solid and solid and uh, plastic solid aluminium also solid and carbon dioxide it's a gas and natural gas also gas. so question number two which equipment would you use to separate these mixtures so sand and water, paper clip and salt, beans and solid. So first of all, magnet. This one here, paper clip. This for sieves for salt and beans. And uh, sand and water. You can use a filter. Let's move to the next page, number 63. Question number three. Marcus, Sophia, and Arun are talking about how to separate a mixture of sugar and water. Do you agree or disagree with these ideas? The sugar has dissolved, so it will go through the filter. Okay. What about the second? Uh, she's saying the water will uh, will go through, but the water will stay in the filter. No wrong. Only some of the sugar will go through the filter. No, this one. Marcus, Marcus, she is Aaron and Sophia. Not correct. Marcus, he's correct. Uh, the sugar has dissolved, so it will go through the filter. Just I underline. Marcus, he is correct. Question number four Which of these flow charts are correct? Iron, uh, hematite and found in the ground plastic oil uh, found in the ground petrol wood this one make this one this both correct this one correct and this one correct both correct iron and this uh, hematite found in the ground obviously plastic oil found in the ground both correct Let's move to the next page. Unit uh, 3. Inshallah, in the next video. Goodbye. Take